Hmm. Oh my gosh, a fizzy, bubbly, melon, peach, mimosa cocktail. Mm, it's like I'm drinking a very good peach cocktail. Bonjour, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to see you today for another perfume review. Smooth, sweet, vibrant, feminine. I'm sitting in the Ritz in Paris and I'm drinking a peach melba cocktail with some yellow mimosa syrup and a delicious vanilla ice cream on the top. Yes, this perfume is feminine, chic, classy. This is really the Oscar de la Renta signature, but with something very original, very unique, super fruity and a little bit sweet on the dry down. Yes, so today I'm reviewing a very unique perfume Volupté by Oscar de la Renta. Look at this very unique original bottle. This is very different compared to the Oscar de la Renta uh, design and aesthetic. This bottle is very, I'm gonna say very design. There's something very unique, very modern. Uh, usually Oscar de la Renta is very feminine, very classy, so it's all about flowers. Yeah, even the bottle are very, very feminine, but this one is a little bit original. And I love this perfume. I really, really fall in love with this perfume and I decided to buy a big bottle. So Voluptue, Voluptuous by Oscar de la Renta is a beautiful, wonderful, gorgeous, fruity, sweet, perfume and this perfume has been launched in 1992 so this is really a 90s perfume you're gonna smell peach you're gonna smell melon you're gonna smell watermelon you're gonna smell mimosa you're gonna smell jasmine peony rose lily and a very very smooth ombre vanilla on the dry down so this is really the scent of a 90s i think peach and melon abricot you know this very gorgeous sweety fruity scent uh, made uh, straight from the 90s and you're gonna really smell this type of, of a note so this perfume is really similar compared to so pretty by Cartier which is a very which is a discontinued perfume but so pretty also uh, you're gonna get this vibrant abricot, melon, peach and so pretty. Um, so pretty might be a little bit more, I'm gonna say, fruity and ombre compared to this one. Usually people compare this perfume to Trésor by Lancôme, but I found Trésor very, very different compared to this one. Trésor by Lancôme has something made very much more flowery uh, with more rose, actually. This one is more fruity, more juicy. Uh, you're gonna smell a lot, a lot of different fruits on the opening. Another similar perfume is Champagne by Yves Saint Laurent, but Champagne has more lychee, something very much more exotic on the opening. And I think it's because of a lychee in Champagne. This one, if you love peach, if you love melon, if you love abricot, if you love peach melba uh, notes, you're gonna love uh, this perfume. I think Volupté has more juicy, fruity notes on the opening. So this perfume is unique and I'm really, really smelling a peach melba cocktail with abricot, melon, watermelon. It's really peachy, it's juicy, it's fizzy, uh, and it's a little bit bubbly also. This is a very vibrant, juicy, fruity, uh, fizzy perfume. Beautiful, gorgeous, very feminine. So this perfume starts with a sharp, fruity, juicy opening with something more slightly bitter green um, on the dry down because of the mandarin zest. But on the opening, it's juicy, it's fruity. Some people say there's something green. I don't find any green notes in the opening of this perfume. There's a lot of fruity uh, notes with the abricot, the melon, the watermelon, and of course the peach. And this peach, this peach is juicy, uh, juicy, fruity, and turned to something a little bit zesty. You know, uh, you're gonna find the mandarin zest. 
uh, in the middle of this perfume and quickly it's more flowery more very much flowery with the lily of the valley the jasmine and the scent of the lily of the valley which is very i'm gonna see a little bit greenish actually a little bit fresh become more and more subtle very much more subtle and blends uh, very well with the lush jasmine and the amber and the sandalwood on the dry down. So let's start to smell this perfume, you know, I quickly describe it, but I really want to smell. Mmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I'm drinking a peach melba cocktail with some mimosa syrup. Mmm. I love this perfume and there's some mandarin zest on the top. It's a beautiful gourmandish peach melba cocktail. Very elegant, very classy, but fizzy and bubbly. And in this peach melba cocktail, there's a little bit of champagne actually, because there's something very fizzy and bubbly in this perfume. Mmm, oh my God. Oh la la, it's beautiful. Oscar de la Renta Volupté, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous perfume. But I got, on the opening it's a little bit greenish, but I got this basket of melon, watermelon, abricot, peach. Mm, this peach melba is so, so lovely, so feminine, very, very feminine. It's a very lovely, a little bit sugary melon on the opening too. It's like a juicy melon candle uh, notes, actually. Very, very interesting, this melon, watermelon and peach uh, combination. This perfume turned to something more uh, opulent. It's a flower, it's an opulent bouquet of different flowers. And it's very warm, very whole-hearted, actually. Very whole-hearted perfume with very sweet and feminine. It's so, so, so beautiful. And I love the combination of the mimosa and the peach, actually. It's a very interesting combination. So on the opening, you got, like I said, this juicy, fruity peach uh, basket. Very interesting. And you're gonna also got, you're gonna also get the melon notes, which is super fruity. And it's like I'm smelling melon in the market. You know, in the French market, usually you have this beautiful, juicy uh, melon. And in the summer, they really smell something very, very sweet and very juicy. You really can smell the melon in the hair. It's like this perfume. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful scent. Mm, yeah, the mimosa in this perfume is tickly, a little bit zesty, elevating, shining and bubbly. And I love these two combinations. It's a beautiful cocktail. I'm really like, mm, every time I'm smelling this perfume, I'm really sitting at the bar of the Ritz, which is my favorite, one of my favorite bar in Paris, actually. And it's like I'm ordering a peach melba cocktail and they put some mimosa, you know, mimosa syrup and, and some melon mandarin zest on the top. It's fresh, it's lush. Mm, let me spray this perfume one more time. Mm, oh my God, this is very, yeah, very warm, very delicate at the same time. It's very Oscar de la Renta, but this one is maybe a little bit different compared to the usually Oscar de la Renta perfume. I'm gonna say there's something very original with the fruits and the mimosa, but it's so, so vibrant, so warm, so joyful perfume. So on the top notes, you're gonna get the mimosa, of course, beautiful, yellow, tickly, uh, zesty, bubbly mimosa. The melon, hmm, the melon is so, so uh, sweet and gourmand, this perfume. The mandarin, something very much more zesty. Uh, the watermelon, of course, and I really smell the peach. It's not listed in this perfume, but I really smell uh, the peach in this perfume and, and a peach melba, something very juicy, very gourmandish, a little bit sweet, of course. You're gonna smell the freesia, which gives to this perfume something a little bit more pinky, uh, to my opinion. The osmanthus 
and uh, the Cyclamen. In the middle notes, it's more flowery, more opulent, a little bit more powdery. There is a, a, a powdery direction in this perfume in the middle notes. So you're gonna smell the Heliotrope, the Ylang Ylang, the Narcissus, the Carnation, the Jasmine, the Lily of the Valley, a beautiful lush uh, Jasmine, Lotus, uh, the Peony, and again, the Frisia. And on the base, it's a little bit more ombery, sweet, uh, vanilla, it's like a vanilla ice cream on the dry down. So you get the sandalwood, the amber, the incense, the tuberose, the vanilla, and the patchouli. So beautiful, beautiful perfume. How to wear Volupté by Oscar de la Renta. Personally, uh, I have a cocktail tonight. I'm invited to a cocktail, to a friend cocktail tonight. And of course, I'm gonna wear this perfume. I, you know, as soon I got the invitation, I was really thinking to wear this perfume. Uh, this perfume is perfect for summer and for spring. This is a very beautiful, vibrant, joyful perfume fizzy, bubbly, very warm, very whole-hearted and the peach, uh, the peach, the melon, the watermelons, it's very summery, very springy in my opinion and it's a beautiful spring feminine fruity perfume. Perfect night and more cocktail. I don't think it's a date perfume. I like to wear something a little bit more seductive, uh, sensual. This perfume is voluptuous. It's not, you know, it's not an aggressive, seductive uh, perfume. This is not a femme fatale perfume. It's very much more feminine, dreamy uh, than being femme fatale. So if you got few events like that in, during the summer or the spring, you're gonna love this, this perfume, definitely. Feminine, classy, elegant, juicy, fruity, peach melba, peach melba, oh my god, with champagne. Peach Melba with champagne, mimosa syrup on the dry down, and of course a little bit of mandarin zest on the top. So fresh, fruity, sweet, uh, feminine, I name it, I just named Volupté, I love. Mm, I love this perfume. I swear I love this one. I really love this perfume. So I made a review today of Volupté by Oscar de la Renta. This is the Eau de Toilette. Uh, so the Eau de Toilette is a very good, good one. The projection is good. It's long lasting. It's still long lasting. Uh, very surprising. Still long lasting for uh, an Eau de Toilette perfume like that. Uh, very good. I think the sillage is also strong. It's very long lasting on my skin. Uh, too. So it's a beautiful, good quality perfume for another toilette. I'm very surprising actually. So let's see if uh, the perfume also uh, will be a long lasting uh, during my event tonight. But for now, I'm still smelling uh, this perfume still a few hours after. So very good projection, very good sillage, long lasting on the skin. So Volupté by Oscar de la Renta Eau de Toilette. That's it for today. I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget also to leave a comment if you like this perfume or if you're still uh, thinking to buy this perfume. I'll also put all the link below if you want to buy this perfume and I see you very soon for another perfume review. Bye. <music>